Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. I want to talk to you about certain tests that I recommend for really anybody dealing with an autoimmune disorder, okay, whether that's rheumatoid, arthritis, or lupus, etc. And it really gets at the heart of what can trigger our, uh, autoimmune disorders for a wide variety of people. So these tests can be ordered through labtestsplus.com on your own. And when the results come back, you'll actually get a written review from a doctor based on what the markers mean. What, what are the markers that are, that are high, low, imbalanced, and you'll also get some action steps, things that are suggestions that you can take to help improve your health. First is the organic acid test. This is a urine test from Great Plains Laboratory. It analyzes a wide variety of things with respects to the metabolism, specifically looking at yeast and bacterial toxins, which are known to cause problems in the body, oxalate issues which can lead to problems and other metabolic factors. The next would be a comprehensive digestive stool analysis looking for infections in the digestive system again yeast, bacteria, parasites as well as digestive markers of inflammation and problems very critical that information could be correlated often back with the information from the organic acid test. I like to do a vitamin D test as well as a food IgG the vitamin D is important because in autoimmune disorders, and a lot of disorders actually, vitamin D deficiency is quite common, and improving vitamin D levels is important with respect to immune function, and that's a finger prick test, so that's easy to do at home. The food IgG is critical because food sensitivity can be a trigger for adverse immune reactivity and inflammation that could be affecting the joints, the, the digestive system, the brain, the kidneys, wherever. So the food IgG is, is very, very critical. And then finally, to round out this group of testing, I always advocate doing the functional adrenal stress profile, specifically the 201 test, although the 205 could be done too to get a, a broader viewpoint of sex hormones, but the 201 is a good place to start because it looks at cortisol levels and DHEA, Adrenal exhaustion, because of the function of cortisol and the role that it plays in hormone maintenance, immune maintenance, as well as decreasing inflammation, is often imbalanced in people with autoimmune disorders. And so looking at it, the adrenal function as part of this whole equation is very important as well. So these tests can be ordered through labtestplus.com, um, and I hope this information helps you. Thanks.